There we go. There we go. That is a giant smallmouth. All right. Holy smokes. Everybody, welcome back to Live to Fish, and today could have been a lot better than it was only because of the fact that I had an equipment failure. If it wasn't for that, I think it would have been a lot better, but it wasn't bad. And I hadn't taken the Ultra Skiff out in a while, so I decided to uh, break that out today. But right now, the winds are whipping pretty bad, so I'm going to keep this short and get right to fishing. Let's go. There we go. First cast of the day. Whew. And he hammered that chapel. That is a giant smallmouth. All right. Holy smokes. Oh. Wow. Holy smokes. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We'll get you out of there. Wow. First cast on the chapel. And this thing got destroyed. This is a big smallie. Wow. All right. We want that in pounds and not kilograms. Zeroed out. Oh, just shy of five pounds. Just shy. What a monster. Whew. That was cool. All right, so first cast on the Berkeley Chapel. Whopping five pounder smallmouth. This thing is a giant. Let's get on some more. Honestly, still shaking from that one. And uh, that was on the Corrado DC. And again, this is the uh, reel that one of my subscribers, Aldo, bought for me. Really appreciate that. I would have never spent the money on something like this for myself. But uh, that was quite a treat. I really appreciate it, Aldo. And look what it ended up producing. It's on the uh, Tatula rod. And that is also on the uh, Berkeley Chapel. All right, I got to take a breather for a second and uh, let's get back on some. All right, here we go with a live to fish teaching moment. Now this is so I, when I screw up, you can learn from it and you don't have to. After catching a fish of that size, of that magnitude, or pretty much any fish, just check your lure and make sure there's no issues with the line attached to it. Because the very next cast, that chopper went flying into orbit. So I didn't have any more top order lures. Unfortunately, the top order bite was really, really good. Wish I could have stayed Man, on it, but close. unfortunately I couldn't and I moved on to some other lures on it. Cast back out there though, because I had a feeling I might be able to get him. I feel like a pike. That feels like a toothy critter. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, 
Oh, could be another smallmouth. It is. Wow. Sure felt like a pike on there. He's really kicking. This is trolling the uh, Kytec swim bait. Trying to get back to the mouth of the channel here. All right. Another good size one. Awesome. Oh, dear. All right, so another beauty of a smallie. Probably about half the size of the last one. It's probably about two and a half, maybe two pounds. And uh, yeah, got him on the Kytec swim bait. That is in the smallmouth uh, magic color. And it is smallmouth magic, I gotta tell you. All right, let's get him back in the water. Beautiful sunrise smallies out here at Harsons Island on Lake St. Clair. See ya. All right, I'm throwing that on the uh, Lose Mach 2 combo. And that is uh, 12 pound Seaguar Basics. I switched over to the Basics from the Invisix simply because it kinks up less and it's definitely more durable. Believe it or not, for half the price, this stuff lasts twice as long. I don't get as many backlashes or kinks. I don't get as many breakoffs. And uh, yeah, great line. So this is on a uh, one quarter ounce, six cents jig head. And again, this is the Smallmouth Magic, the, uh, the Kytec swim bait. This is the 3.8 inch size and uh been working perfect this is what i've been using all season long and especially during that uh that cold weather um when the smallies started spawning this thing was absolute fire out there all right let's get on some more fish there we go right at the boat little dink Thanks for playing. It wouldn't be a day out here without a toothy critter, huh? Great. Really? You're gonna eat my toad like that? Okay, can you quick release for me? Come on, you can do it. There you go. Nope, not gonna do it, huh? All right, let's get you in the boat. <sighs> Wonderful. Just what I wanted. Not at all. Yep, good old snot rocket. He stinks too. Let's get him back in the water. That was a good thump on that one. Oh, geez Louise. Can the day get any better? Come on, dude. Seriously. Why do you guys haunt me all the time? Ugh. All right, I'm going to get you unhooked here, bud. All right. There's not rocket for the day. Not what I wanted at all, but fish is a fish, right? Let's get him back in the water. All right, so as you can see and probably hear, the winds are kicking up right around 12 miles an hour. It's kind of been a pain in the butt to try to keep uh, keep my positioning. So uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to wrap early, which stinks, because I'm having a lot of fun out here. It may have been a short outing, but it was an absolutely beautiful outing and uh, definitely gonna get that ultra skiff out there again. So until next time, be safe, be well, and as always, live to fish. Take care everybody and thanks again for watching.